Indonesian business leaders attending the World Economic Forum in Davos have expressed their confidence in the region under the ASEAN Economic Community, which starts this year. But they're also calling on the government to deliver policy reforms to encourage growth. While the mood at Davos isn't entirely upbeat, there's still confidence about the future of growth in Asia and specifically Indonesia. I think the mood has been very interesting. It's been, I think President Trump, uh, who's heading the World Economic Forum, said uh, yesterday that we're in the crossroads at this point in time. The crossroads for the world, as we can see, the Indonesia in the last five to seven years has had tremendous growth since 07, 08, despite the world crisis. But it's been driven a lot by uh, export-based industries who has really benefited from the commodity boom that's fueled by China. I think China is not only going for quantity growth, but quality growth. And he mentioned specifically that instead of a high gear growth, he's going for middle to high gear growth. And that is a very interesting concept for China. Indonesian companies are pointing to the need for policy reform to help support economic growth, especially in the energy sector where demand is expected to skyrocket. The government needs to build the energy security strategy. I think the most important factor that the government needs to do is um, they need to build the infrastructure, um, either that's a power generation, um, either that is a storage uh, oil capacity, uh, gas pipeline. Um, that's, that's the only, uh, the only way that, that the government should take advantage uh, with the lowering price of, of oil. The president director of state lender Bank Mandiri says while the Chinese economy is slowing, there's still optimism about growth prospects in Asia. Last year was pretty tough for Indonesian economy, uh, but this year we see it is better. Uh, I believe the policy that our president made about cutting the subsidy and also investing more on infrastructure will give a positive impact to the Indonesian economy this year. But he says the government's decision to invest heavily in infrastructure will also have a positive impact on the bank's business as Indonesia's largest lender in the sector.